Today's video is brought to you by Lego Friends with Mrs. Simmons. Today's lesson, I am going to teach y'all a little bit about subtraction. So I thought I would use my Lego Friends to give a demonstration of how subtraction works. Subtraction is a really fancy word. Another way to say subtraction is to say take away. We take something away. Kind of like when you have your parents take away your favorite cookies because you have to wait until after dinner, then something is removed, right? Okay, so let's take a look at our Lego friends. These are my Lego friends today. Let's go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we have five Lego friends. And our Lego friends have decided that for their get together, they really want to have some pizza. So one Lego friend is going to get in her car and she is going to drive away to get some pizza. Now, how many Lego friends do I have? I have one, two, three, four. Four Lego friends. So I had five, but now I only have five four Lego friends. So that is the same as doing subtraction. This would be a problem that looks like what we had. We had five Lego friends. One of them went away and now we have four. So this little symbol right here, this little stick in the middle, he's called a minus sign. That means that we took something away. So we had five and then we took away one Lego friend and this sign, remember, equal means all together. Now we have four all together. Let's look at our number line, okay? So I've, I made a little number line here for us, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten numbers. This number here is number five. What comes after number five? Six. Six comes after number five. So if we were adding and we had five and we wanted one more, then we would be at six. But let's go back to our number five. What if we take one away? Then we just use the before number. So four comes before five. So when we take something away, we go that way on our number line. We go down. Let's try another one. Let's go back to our Lego characters. This time, our Lego characters are hanging out waiting for that pizza to arrive. And Spaceman remembers that his coffee cup is empty. And let me tell you, we all know that when the coffee cup is empty, you gotta go get some more. So here he goes, he's gonna shoot off into space. How many Lego people do we have now? Let's count them. One, two, three. We have three Lego people. So that looks like this. Four, we had four. Minus one, we took away one, equals three all together. Let's look at that number line and see if that makes sense. All right, so the number before four is three. I think we're on the right track here. All right, let's do it again. This time, our Lego friends are hanging out and Mr. Warrior remembers that he has to go and fight a battle. He is being called to serve his country. So off he marches. Bye-bye, Mr. Warrior Man. See you later. Now how many Lego people do we have? We have two Lego people. Look, one, two. All right, well, that's what our equation looks like again. We had three. We take away one. And now we've got two. Hmm, let's do one more problem. I'm gonna give you the numbers ahead of time. This time, I'm gonna show you what two minus one looks like. We have two Lego friends. One, I think, looks a lot like Miss Miranda. See, she's got her little ponytail. And she just got a call that she's gotta take Blake out for some ice cream because they are overdue for some special quality time. So she's gonna jump in her car and she's gonna drive away. So we had two Lego people and then we took one away 
And now we have only one left. He looks kind of lonely, doesn't he? Yeah, he's one my kid is saving to take to Legoland to trade. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. That is subtraction using Lego people. So I just want to remind you of a couple things. One, this is brand new. So if you're having trouble, don't sweat it. It takes time to get it. Two, this little symbol right here, this one, that means minus. That means you're going to take something away. When we have a problem with a plus sign like this, that means we're going to add something, right? All right. One other thing. When you're doing your work, you might see an example where it has a whole bunch of pictures. So let's say that you've got a picture and it has four squares and then they X one out. So let's see if we can show four squares and then they X one out. That means they're trying to show you to take it away. And you can do that too. You can mark X's on those pictures to help yourself with subtraction. So if the problem is four minus one, let me show you with a darker marker. If it's four minus one, this is what your picture would look like. Four squares, one, two, three, four, and you're Xing one out. So how many don't have an X? One, two, three. So the answer is three. I hope that helps, boys and girls. I hope you're doing really well with all of your classwork, and I miss you so much. Bye-bye for now.